A growing fears of a recession, soaring interest rates and continuing high inflation. The economic storm that may be looming is shaking financial markets as investors bet the U.S. Central Bank will make aggressive moves to tighten monetary policy this week and beyond. A stock and bond market investors are reeling from losses while peripheral markets such as cryptocurrencies have been swept lower in the downdraft. But while the market volatility is global, the interest rate environment is more differentiated, particularly right here in Asia. Now, Indonesia's central bank, to cite one example, has refrained from raising borrowing costs, even amid criticism that it is lagging the international trend. Governor Perry Rogio told CNA in an exclusive interview that domestic subsidies have helped to check, keep inflation in check and help Bank Indonesia keep rates lower for longer. For Indonesia, which is the supply from the supply being addressed by fiscal, please do not call, we are behind the cut. We had a cut by quantity because our source of inflation from the supply, the correct response from the fiscal, while other country do not respond from the fiscal. Demand in Indonesia is still weak. We are still experiencing negative auto gain. The correct response, normal resistance to quantity, not interest rate. Well, analysts were surprised Bank Indonesia didn't hike rates in May, given pressure on the local currency and the local inflation outlook. But as the governor also explained, subsidizing key consumer goods will continue to play a central role in the country's price stability. Fiscal policy giving more subsidy, which is for the premium, diesel, you know, electricity, gas. That's why the spillover from global commodity price to domestic inflation can be mitigated. You are seeing inflation in Indonesia even though picking up, but much less than other countries. We also spoke at the Indonesia Singapore Business Forum with Indonesia's Finance Minister Sri Mulyani Indrawati. Uh, she discussed the importance of protecting consumer spending power against the corrosive effects of inflation and of Indonesia's boost from high commodity prices. This year, Indonesia also enjoying some commodity boom, so the revenue increased very, very strongly, while the spending will be kept into the what is the most important priority. First, protecting the people purchasing power. The demand driven coming from the household is very important. Household consumption in Indonesia explain around 54% of our GDP. The second one is try to continue supporting the momentum of the recovery, whether this is through the investment or the export, which is now increased very dramatically because of the global recovery.